watching ABC 27 HD's Hometown Sports with sports director Brad Dalton. Spring football practices for high schools in the state of Florida are starting to wrap up this week. Teams from all around our area are hitting the field for some spring jamborees, including a big one last night at Gene Cox Stadium. Four local teams in action and some college coaches there very interested in some of these players. Gobby and Rickards going the first. The Cougars on offense. Craig Mackey, though, for the Raiders, picks this one off. He heads the other direction. Nobody catches him. Rickards up 12 to seven as he scores. But the Cougars, they weren't out of it. They came right back down the field. Khalid Thomas is going to pound this one right up the middle for the score. Godby hangs on to win their half 14 to 12. Next up, Rickards would stay on the field. They were joined by the Lincoln Trojans. Now these two teams played a very tight half of football. Charlie Kelly on fourth and seven finds a wide open to Marcus Thomas for the touchdown. That ties up this game at 14. But Lincoln got the ball back and after a long drive, Ben Robinson takes the handoff, gets a little space on the outside and finds the end zone. Trojans hang on to win 21 to 20. The third game of the evening, it was Lincoln and Leon Old Rivals going at it. Now the Trojans, Reggie Kelly, he's nominated as a potential Army All-American. As he takes the opening kickoff, you'll see why. He doesn't need a lot of space. And when he sees the opening, he turns on the Jets. No chance to run down Kelly. And just like that, it's 7-0 Lincoln. After a Leon turnover, Trojans Cameron Joseph, plenty of time. Looking over the middle to find, it's Kelly again. Behind the defense for the score, Trojans all over Leon, 28 to nothing. Up on the north side of town last night, it was Childs taking on Florida High in a scrimmage. Second quarter action, Childs moving the ball. Ben Hatch under all kinds of pressure. He's going to throw back across the middle of the field and finds Juan Williams streaking into the open. Now the Seminoles do chase him down and bring him down at the one yard line. And that was kind of the story of the night right here. The Knoll defense stepping up when they needed it most. They kept Childs out of the end zone on this drive and Florida High takes the game 22 to nothing. That's going to do it for your Sunrise Sports this morning. Let's head back over to the news desk.